Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Outward. So, um, I got a fresh cup of coffee. I'm recording the episodes back to back, of course, as you do. Uh, and then of course I'm staggering the uploads to be um, once a day or once every two days. If I run low on um, willpower to play the game, or if I run low on episodes, I'll take me even longer before uploads. We'll see. I'll start off with daily uploads and then I'll, uh, I'll probably stagger them out uh, for two days. I mean, we're already at a later episode here, so this is probably useful information for an early episode, uh, but I forgot to say it, so here we go, in case you're wondering. <coughs> Excuse me. So what else have we got to say, uh, Innkeeper? We ended up uh, last time not getting through all of your dialogue. Hey there! If you've got the coin, you'll find no greater comfort in this marsh than in my end. Hey, did you hear? Curious. Okay, getting to MR Car Forest is very tricky for me. We need to blah 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 blah. We actually, you get the same dialogue as if you're trying to get to... Rissa's place. Uh, <clears throat> we're still the Lightmander Lich territorial. Uh, get from the old flooded cigarette tunnel. Yeah, very difficult. I recommend Chersonese. Curious. If you get to MR car from the marsh, walk south and then east. The city will be just north of the river. When you reach Embrasar Desert, head east and look for the glowing city on top of the great hill and you'll have reached Levant. You may want to stop at the oasis at the entrance of the desert to restock on water while you're at it. Um, <clears throat> I get the impression you have to... I get the impression that these zones are um, above one another. So the one on... so going right from the Chersonese map, uh, this one is at the top um, possibly this is... no, I don't know. Maybe this... of, of course this would be the easiest to get to from uh, the top the top right of the Chersonese. Because this is at the top right. Uh, the next place would go... Well, you're going uh, northeast uh, to reach this place. You're going east to reach uh, Rissa's place. I forget what it's called. And you're going... Um, South east to get to um, what's its faces destination, uh, the Levant. And yeah, it's uh, there are places in this world that we can travel, it's a thing. But luckily for us, we went the right way straight away, so we don't have to ask for directions. Uh, actually, hold on, did I get all of the dialogue? Hey there. Hey, did you hear? Uh, Hero Kingdom. She just, it's really just directions to me. Like, I accidentally came here and I'm supposed to get to the other places. Help. <laughs> and then she's like, ooh, do you really want it? It's uh, rather complicated. Now, apparently, we're hungry and thirsty. Have some Gabberry Sartine. And also, some water skin. We should be fine for the next minute. Oh yeah, the the jam has a property of being cold resistance. <coughs> so actually, if you uh, if you stocked up on jam very early um, and made a lot of toast out of it, you've got a large supply of heat resistant, uh, cold resistant um, buffs going on. So cold weather defense up plus 15 seems really decent, however the buff doesn't last for forever, it's only what, 300 seconds or something. I'm guessing on the number because I, I didn't check it straight away. What is up here? A view? Oh, we can get further up. Yeah, I think we've checked this place in the first episode when we got here. It is a really beautiful overview of the entire tower from here, of the entire town from here. 
Pretty cool place. The neon lights are a bit weird though. Even if you can explain them away by being magic and by being only a magical, they're just, they're really just still weird. Especially since they're on day and night. Just weird, just a weird time in general. There's also like some steampunky uh, placements, assets here and there. Look, the chimney on this building is uh, is bronze, shiny bronze. You know, it's like usually that's usually a steampunk thing. But then there are like weird technologies that have not been explained to us in the game. You got these the guards in this town have electric weapons, you have that flashy uh, shiny sword that all the elves wielding, looks very, uh, looks very steampunky, a little bit out of place, kind of, in um, a game with magic, you don't, you don't often see fantasy magic mixing with uh, steampunk, it's kind of just a, a mixed bag of all kinds of stuff here. <coughs> <coughs> What do you need? Yeah, it would be lovely if you would set the your own lines, but I guess I'll uh, <coughs> I'll go through them first. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, welcome to the city of Monsoon, home of Alat, the god of discipline. If you have any problems at all, or see a scourge beast of any kind, please let us know, and we will take care of it. Damn, I wish I could have you walking around as my personal guards. That would be great. I saw a couple of beasts who absolutely kicked my ass earlier. I don't know if they were scourged, though. What do you need? Oh, really? That's all you have to say? And I was prepared for, like, a long list of dialogue. Can I help you? Uh, tell me about the merchants and traders, tell me this, tell me that, tell me that, tell me that. Yeah, I think we've talked to the guards already for their dialogue. So, who else is important? Oh yeah, there's one guy I definitely want to show off. Let's take a sip of coffee carefully this time. Mmm. Nice warm coffee. Alright. Uh, what does our one do? Yeah, it's a... Uh, the combat, uh, the combat is crazy in this game. It really seems ridiculous. There's no, uh, you can never safely attack. There's no like uh, staggering, and comboing enemies. Uh, it's just a, a trade. It seems more like you're trading blows more than anything else. So. Can't wait to get that fancy armor that the guys in the temple are wearing, so I can actually have the defense to be able to trade blows. Can I unequip this broken pointless lantern? There we go. That's much better. Hello, a Raiden. What's Raiden doing here? Moffat is apparently Raiden. Hello. Speak up a bit, eh? <laughs> Raiden, Raiden is uh, hard of hearing in this old age. Uh, a new pilgrim, huh? It's good to see new blood come into the holy mission. I'm getting too old for this shit. Uh, shameful as that is, I miss the good old days when I could wallop a scourge beast with a mere quarterstaff. Hmm. And a little bit of lightning, also maybe? How old are we talking? <laughs> I knew a lot before he was a grown man. <laughs> Damn. I guess this guy's ancient, because the, uh, the deity of this cult seems to, um, yeah, this guy's outlived the deity, must be old, that's cool, I wonder what secrets are behind this guy, I mean, like, yeah, not to get too cynical about it, but to get a little bit cynical about it, maybe they just had this model with this, like, Raiden looking old man, and they just, um, they crafted this, uh, <laughs> this badass story about him just to give him something. But maybe we're gonna hear nothing more about him after listening to his dialogue now. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe the game will prove me wrong over time. Uh, I knew Elad before he was a grown man. I can still remember the time before this marriage when Elad and I would journey across Orai without the frets of... Uh, without that fret hanging over us. 
Bolamac sent you to help me, didn't he? Uh, good timing, too. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. The wandering world at night in the marsh is getting very difficult for me, and I could really use some firefly powder for one of my experiments. Well, are you on this quest as well, Sorry, Sorry, I'm kind of conversing with this NPC first. Look at the way you sir. You know how to get firefly powder the natural way, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the natural way. Uh, get some fireflies to follow you around and bring them to a kind of flat red a flower. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen that. It's like with one of those uh, Venus fly. Um... No, no, it's not. It's not a Venus fly trap. It's. Um... It's one of those flowers that attracts insects. Yeah, I think I saw it. It's a colorful uh, red flower. Yeah, I've stepped on that a couple of times. It was like halfway here. Oh man, I hope there's more of them around because I don't know. I don't know if I want to go all the way back there. Collect the powder that the flower provides. Okay, I want to train with you, Master Raiden. <laughs> um. For 50 silver, I can teach you a spell to summon a boon of blessing. It will protect you from the lights and lightning magics from your opponents and increase the power of your own. Um, do I really want this if I don't have mana? Uh, sure. Listen to me! Alright, sit down first. We must consider the relation that light and lightning have with one another. And... Dot dot dot. <laughs> <sighs> hey now, don't fall asleep on me. Well, at any rate, I think you've gotten the hang of the bless boon. Now I finally have the money to buy that new alchemy set. Oh my god. Okay, anything else? You know how to get firefly powder the natural way, right? Okay, just uh, explaining me that quest. So, what they want us to do is help one of three people. There are three people in this village that needs help. I don't know if we can go ahead and help everyone in due time, but I kind of want to just help one person and get our house. I'm guessing they're going to give us access to our house as soon as we get the quest done of helping one person to join their cult. That religion, I mean. <laughs> uh, potato, potato. Hello? Um, man. Travel. Uh, I don't know if I should just put everything in my backpack. Um, yeah, we are getting rather late, but we're early in the episode, so I'm gonna go and rest a bit. Take a sweet drink. Have a bite of food. Fill up the drinks. The rest all night in our bedroll. The good thing is, in the town we don't have to worry about ambushing, so we can just like, do whatever. Una, unassemble this cooking pot. I might need it when I go out into the wild. Maybe not, but maybe I will. Uh, turn off the campfire because we're going to get overheated. Burn to death while we're sleeping. Repair for a couple of hours or not, and then sleep for the entire night and then get it all first thing. Yeah, I don't care. We'll head off in the morning for our quest. Although, fireflies, do they only appear at night? I don't know. Maybe they do. But we got ourselves a catch 22 if that's the case. So the fireflies will appear at night, but we won't see a damn thing, so we won't be able to find the flower that we need to bring them to. So I think the smart way to do this quest is to at least locate the flower we need to bring the fireflies to first. Hmm. Somehow I feel that not going to be easy. Hmm. Positioning fails.
not having that with you would be... Yeah, it wouldn't be smart. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a way here. Um, damn, a lot of these items I just wanted to... wanted to keep in storage and use at some point. I'm gonna sell one fishing harpoon to this trader over here. Is there something you need? Sell a harpoon and one alchemy kit. That sells for decent uh, price, actually. The occult remains. I don't know. It might be rare. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna hold on to that for a while. Uh. I can sell the old lantern that doesn't work anymore. I think I will. It's only weighing us down at this point. Anything else worth selling? Well, yes, but the items that are, I want to hold on to anyway. There we go. Get a bit of cash, free up some space, free up some weight, and let's get going. I've got cloth on me and. I guess I'll take a scratch of wood and make a torch. Just, uh, hold on. We have a torch. The torch is not very healthy. I think I'm gonna make a second torch. Where's the trees around here? There is a tree. Let's get a scratch of wood. Hold on. Oh, this apparently can't be gathered. Oh, how about you? No. What? Why can't I get a wood from these trees? Oh, we're thirsty. <laughs> That's such an insidious, like, your character needs is such an insidious debuff when they're uh, not uh, tended to. Because you go from, um, you know, you go from being fully healthy on the, the health and stamina front to all of a sudden missing half of your stamina because you just didn't realize your character's thirsty but you have the water on you because water is usually pretty easy to get. So you're thirsty <laughs> this whole time and then you've lost all of your stamina while well, you could have maintained it all if you were paying a little bit more attention. Yeah, that's going to happen to me quite often. I don't see any trees around here but... Sure we'll find some outside of town. Loading screen to loading screen. Off we go. Oh, it's the hallowed marsh. That's what it's called. Hmm. Blight town, basically. Valley of Defilement, maybe. You can store up any item you don't want in the stash chests found in homes. Note that the currency, silver coins, have a weight. Yeah, the, their weight in units is almost like the profit made from AdSense on YouTube. It's per, it's like per hundred and per thousand uh, clicks. I think you make one cent per hundred uh, clicks on YouTube. And if people are using ad blocker, you, you make nothing, you get nothing. Because you don't see the ads and you don't click away the ads. But you don't have to click away the ads because if you ads run out, you also have to watch the ad. And you get that one click of AdSense. Really, are we going to start off being aggressive? Let's we make this one. Look at my ads. What would he get from you? What's your function? A stegosaur. He gives me raw meat, and we're overweight. Uh, screw it, I'm just gonna use a bandage, we've got a decent amount of those. Early game it seems to be the best health recovery as well. Uh, dishes made from meat are also good health recovery. Dishes made with egg are stamina recovery. Uh, no, no, dishes, dishes made with egg are stamina and health recovery. Dishes made with berries are 
they just bury themselves on this Wait a minute. Old windmill. Vigil pylon. I'm looking for this way here. <laughs> I'd like to not have to go through too much combat to get where I'm going. There's, there's the bridge on the Man, just give me my house already. I'm overweight, I'm overburdened. Please, game, please. This reminds me of the struggle in Skyrim to get your first house. Gather tree. You can completely negate that struggle though by stealing the, the witch's hovel. Just at the foot of the, the mountain where you get the quest for your You could, you could definitely consider that cheating because being in that situation of having a lot of stuff on you and not having anywhere to put it safely is kind of the most inflammatory new player or Skyrim experience. Actually, first I'll use it to craft this torch. Mm, it's a torch craft. I'm going to try with wood it costs, so. successfully stole all their shit but I'm getting more and more overweight so I'm uh. oh there's clean water here nice I'll go ahead and drink because I don't have my stamina buff anymore I wish Raiden would have told us exactly where this flower is that we have to bring the um, the thing over uh I'm tempted to just walk, I'm straight up tempted to just walk all the way back to sh um, Cherizo, <laughs> um, to the Chersonese, to uh, Cherizo, to our old home, and drop all the stuff off, so we at least keep it, and um, I think I'm, I'm just going to do that, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to do that, I don't know how I'll safely make it all the way back there though. But I'm I'm kind of tired of being over overburdened here, and I don't want to do what the game tells me, like decide what items are useful and what items are not, and like leave them lying. Uh, don't want to do that. Well, shit. I don't think this is where we have to be. Come on, get up this hill. I know you can do it. Maybe not when you're overburdened. Well, shit. <laughs> Leaving my pack behind and traveling further while not being overburdened, just going back home kind of defeats the purpose because we want to drop off all our items in uh, Sierzo. You know, if you didn't have these like stupidly fast behemoths of enemies walking around everywhere here, which we have no chance in hell of beating, then I wouldn't be too worried about running back all the way being overburdened. Do we have any food on us at all? Okay, we've got the Garberry Tartine and the travel rations. <coughs> but I can't use those travel rations because it's gonna be... yeah. It's not gonna end well if we use too much of those. We won't be able to travel back to the Chersonese. Oh geez. Don't notice me. I'm gonna hide behind this uh, root for a minute until he turns around, and then I'm gonna sneak past him.
Because if we just get spotted by any of these, a lot of enemies seem to just chase you to the ends of the earth. Very nasty. I'm also keeping my eyes open for the, the plant we're looking for. <clears throat> Notice it's gone completely silent and <laughs> the music has stopped. Oh cool, we found... what is it now? 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, step 1 accomplished. We have the fireflies. It's also, it's almost like we're playing a survival horror here, instead of just um, a survival. <laughs> We're playing Outlast or something, like look at these hideous creatures that we have no chance of even defeating. Oh man, this is a dungeon. I'm getting lost. I've got to follow the Pilgrim's Path. Problem is we've got a bunch of those uh, creatures on the, on, the, on the path. I think I can get the weight down Here's a bunch of weight in arrows. Oh, damn. I can equip two of those. Here we go. Weight's down a little bit, I hope. Uh, anything we can drop or don't need here? Hmm. Yeah, I kind of need everything. I'm just going to eat the dry mushroom bar. Why not? Recur some health. Or not. Okay, whatever. Um, have a little drink again. Or oh, everything we can do to reduce the weight. And I'm looking for near two units of weight. 1.5 would be perfect. 1.4? Okay, cool. Uh, move to pocket. All of them. There we go. The goal is to be just slightly overweight in both pocket and a pouch, a rucksack, I mean, oh jeez, don't notice me. We're also running late. I think I'm gonna, I'm also gonna record the next part of trying to get back to uh, Cherzo. Hmm, the moment I get to town I'm gonna do the rest off, uh, off camera though. All the inventory management, all the um, you know, moving and doing, uh, getting all the way back here, getting ready to do that quest. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to run to Cherzo, and uh, the next episode I'll be I'll be doing that too. And then I think off camera I'll move us back to the marsh, the hallowed marsh entrance, and from there I'll work on the quest. I think he sees me. No? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh shit, there's another one. Oh my god. Raptors everywhere. Whew. We escaped. I'm moving to the south constantly. You know, we might as we might just well find one of those uh, red plants. He said a uh, flat red plant, right? I hope I'm not making r uh, wrong assumptions by what plant we have to get to because there's a quite a few. The game is very colourful and there's a lot of red coloured plants lying around all over the place. Maybe this is a plant that we need. This is a red plant. No? Okay, just checking. No, I really believe it's that um, that flat uh, fly attracting plant that we saw. When just entering the marsh, actually, it was all the way at the beginning of the zone. Garberries. That's huge, actually. Do we have salt? Yeah, we have some salt. Actually, garberries, meat and salt gives us a uh, meat stew. I'm gonna cook some meat stew here, but we're running late on time, so I'll do that. Uh, next episode. So, next episode, struggle to get back to our house at the uh, Cherzo. Uh, see you then. Take care.